the West Ranch Boys Cross Country Team received a pep talk from new coach Sarah Soltani telling them that every one of them counts. And boy did it ever, at the first prohibited race at Central Park, and West Ranch stormed to the front of the pack to start the race. Preston Pope was leading the impressive charge for West Ranch and had several teammates behind him. And Preston Pope brought it home with an impressive performance of 15 minutes and 36 seconds. Though Boone Andrews of Saugus edges Jack Arnold at the finish, Justin Sherfee finished fourth to help deliver the win. We all stayed together. It was a nice tight pack in the, mid, in the first mile, and it, it made the rest of the race easy. And since we worked together, it was just it was a great race. West Ranch's Timmy Sturkel had an interesting finish, stumbling and then crawling across the finish line, barely holding off teammate Michael Hagenmiller. I just had a lot of work to do. That, that's not the finish I want to be uh, crawling across the finish line, over overstriding. Uh, I have a lot of work to do to get where I want to be, but we're, we're doing great as a team, so that's what matters. Then there's the Saugus girls. Hello, the vaunted Saugus girls. Coach Renee Paragas held out four of his regulars due to injury concerns, but they still delivered in a big way. Mariah Castillo and Kaylee Thompson led the pack early on. Castillo is looking every part like the front runner she is, and Thompson was close behind. Here comes Castillo, winning the race in an impressive 17.53, and Thompson's right on her tail at 17.57, leading an impressive victory for Saugus. Solid! Yeah. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Solid. 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 Really good and really tough at the same time, so... Yeah, I don't know. Watch you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's Stay strong with each other, so... Savannah Sanadook had an outstanding performance for Saugus in 7th place. Victoria Hodge tallied a 10th place finish for Saugus to help bring in the pack. And Abby Davis closed it out in 15th place. It was definitely a tough race, but we just had in mind that we had to come out strong and have all of our teammates around us, so we were just pushing each other the whole time. Valencia freshman Haley Kirsch had a fantastic foothill debut in third place. Um, I, was def I definitely surprised myself. I was thinking um, maybe I'd get top five, and then I definitely surprised myself with the third place win, and um, especially since this is my first football league, and um, I'm a freshman, so it was definitely exciting. Sophia Hosel finished in fifth place to lead an impressive performance for the West Ranch girls who took second overall. We're really happy about the performance because it really shows how hard we've been working, especially over the summer, and showing how hard our work is.